exciting time uh, and it's even more exciting when you get to take your little ones on the adventure with you. However, if you're anything like me, that excitement is kind of diluted by the fact that you're going to have to take your toddler on a plane and they're expected to sit in a seat for anywhere from two hours to 24 hours and that causes me quite a lot of anxiety. So today I'm going to show you how I pack Chelsea's backpack for a plane ride and pack it with some really cool different kids activities and ideas that will hopefully give them lots of different things to do, keep them stimulated but isn't too noisy so it disrupts everyone around them, isn't too messy and causes you stress trying to keep the mess contained and things that you can actually enjoy and have fun with them along the way. So the first thing that you'll need is your little one's backpack. So the key here is not packing it full to the brim, which is the mistake I made the first time, but rather about packing sensibly and having some order in the way that you pack it. First thing I make sure I pack is Chelsea's water bottle, which has a separate section over here so it's easily accessible. The second thing I then do is pack a whole lot of different snacks, but I found that packing a range of Chelsea's favourite things, including um, biscuits and muesli bars and dried fruit and you know yogurt covered sultanas all the little treats that are healthy that she really likes is a great way of being able to spread over the food over the entire flight so i usually use the first um, pocket of my backpack and basically pack that with her different food and snacks the next thing that's great for your little one's airplane backpack is a sticker book. These ones are actually reusable, um, so you can stick the stickers down and then pull them off and re-stick them. So if your one, the ones are anything like Chelsea, she actually puts a sticker down, wants to peel it off, and gets really frustrated when she can't pull it off and it rips. So this is, was a fabulous find. With the next thing that I packed, continuing on with the drawing theme, is this little etch -a sketch so Chelsea loves it. We actually brought her a really big one uh, for her birthday, which she actually never uses. Uh, this has been the absolute hit. Um, it's a small little etch sketch It's not messy. They can draw on it. They can ask you to draw on it. And then it wipes away. An iPad. So uh, load it up with movies. What was she playing? Fisher Price Laugh and Learn was obviously the last app she was playing with. Um, load it up with movies with TV shows, their favourite TV show, so Chelsea's at the moment, is Mr. Maker and Play School um, and Teletubbies. So I loaded that up. So she's got a couple of hours of viewing pleasure um, and some quiet time, which is particularly important if you're the one is going to have trouble sleeping. This is actually a really nice quiet time activity that they can just sort of lie on your lap, sit in the seat um, and play with. My favourite ones are uh, Bugs and Buttons is one of her favourites. Peppa Pig Drawing is another really good one. This is a really good one here. This is um, the Toka Tea Party. She loves this The one. next thing that I actually took, which is a great thing, um, is a little plane. So I actually spent, in the last flight, spent quite a little bit of time explaining to Chelsea about a plane and what she was, what she was going on. Um, how planes worked, where we were going, how we were flying in the sky um, and having a little toy plane made Chelsea really proud and really excited of what she was doing. The next thing that I packed in Chelsea's backpack was what I guess I could describe as a bag of bits and bobs. So I just threw in a range of little DIY art and craft things, had some popsicle sticks, some um, pipe cleaners, some rings and some little felt stickers that kids have fabulous imaginations and providing them with just a mixture of tools you don't know what they're going to do with them but they always find some fabulous games so we got this cartoon clay I wasn't worried at all about messiness um, it doesn't fall apart or get stuck like play-doh does but it allows you and your little ones to mold and create things the next thing that I created for Chelsea to take in her playing backpack was a photo album of things that Chelsea loved. So this was when she was about, 
um, just under two years old, I made her this for a flight that we were going on. She quite likes looking at herself and looking at people that she loves and things that she's done. So we put together this Chelsea's book of things that she loves and packed it full of photos. So my family, chocolate, her eating chocolate, her cousins, her with Santa, her with a dancing medal. Loved exploring it, read it over and over and over again. So it's a great keepsake, great thing for them to look at. If it's a bit of a surprise and they haven't seen it before, they'll actually engage in it for a long time on the plane. And the next one is a really good activity that one of my friends told me when she was taking her little one on a 25 or 24 hour flight. And that is a little packet of Cheerios and some dental floss. So this is a really good activity because it combines both a snack with an activity. Um, so what you can get your little one to do is to take some dental floss and create a Cheerios bracelet or necklace. And it's a snack where they can eat. Mm, yum. They're going to eat their Cheerios off of it. So it's a bit of a double activity, it gives them a bit of a snack, but rather than them eating their snack in five minutes and being up for the next activity, um, you can draw that out and create a bit of a learning activity as well. The next thing I pack is obviously books. So Chelsea is a book kid and loves it. And I found the most successful book that I've taken on the plane is these kind of little ones where it's all about finding things. So you can read them the story, but also you can ask them to find what is what these things are in here. The next one that we took, which was actually a really fun activity, was Uno. So obviously she's only two years old, she doesn't actually know how to play Uno, um, can't really read the numbers, but what she can do, what she likes doing is mimicking playing cards and she knows colours. So you can use your Uno cards um, to make piles of different colours, so make a pile, uh, you can ask them to make a pile of blue, you can make them do a pile of yellow, um, or you can get them to follow suit. So you place down a blue and say, you need to find a blue one to put down. Um, and Chelsea really engaged that activity. And I realized that I'd underestimated just her cognitive skills. Um, and we use the cards for a range of different games. So they're really good to have in there. And then you can play them while you're on holiday with your husband when they go to sleep. One of the last things that I packed was Chelsea's My Quiet Book. So we were given this when Chelsea was born. Um, it's a beautiful little activity book um, which you could either make yourself or you could buy at the shops. And there's lots of different, if you look online, there's lots of different um, My Quiet Books out there. And essentially it's an activity book. So um, it's a whole lot you can see. So one's around unbuttoning and buttoning. One's about zipping and unzipping, telling the time. And as it says, my quiet book, a really good quiet activity. Um, one of the last things that we had to take only because we have to take it everywhere is our Peppa Pig phone. Um, that kind of just goes with us everywhere anyway. So I guess that's a reminder just to make sure that you know what your little one likes playing with at the time and you pack their favorite one or two toys that they love um, and take that with them on the journey. I should also say if your little one has comforters like dummies or a special bunny rabbit or a tumpy in Chelsea's case, make sure you pack these. These can kind of make or break a trip and you need to make sure the things that bring them comfort normally are also packed in their plain backpack. And there you have it. Chelsea's packed bag with lots of fun activities and ideas to take on the plane with you. You can see that it's not overly full. I haven't packed it to the brim. It's still really nice and light, not too heavy, um, but there's a range of activities that you can do um, that will amuse you throughout the flight.